what is up youtube welcome back again it's about the techno boy and here you can see two class d amplifiers are there as they are very small in size you can see and they both are same well i bought two of them to test it out in my different uh, projects so these are like tpa 3110 d2 ic amplifier and you can see both the design are same the PCB colors are different, the black and blue, except that even the PCB design is also the same. So this is a class D amplifier with the uh, uh, 15 to 20 watt per channel at 12 volt. Uh, this thing has a wide range of voltages. It can work from 8 volt to 24 volt, as you can see is right here, 8 volt to 24 volt, uh, both same so uh, it, you don't need uh, 24 volt this thing works very nice on 12 volt power supply and they cannot handle uh, higher amperage so give it a 2 amp uh, max for better result if you give it a higher amperage then the chip will get uh, hot so fast and it may get damaged so that's it now today i'm gonna connect this thing and gonna check how it works but before that let me show you the connections marked here as here you can see that's the left speaker output positive negative that's the right positive negative and that would be the power supply positive negative and on this side that's the input right ground left so the connections are pretty simple connect the power supply positive negative input left right and ground and here the speaker connections are out so that's it now i have a uh, case here where i built an amplifier before so all the connections are there the volume control input socket speaker socket uh, power supply socket and extra capacitor and wires are all there so I just need to connect this thing right there and then we can uh, check it out and also can control the volume as the volume control is there so let's do that All right, so the connections are done. There you can see speaker connections, left and right. And that's the DC power input with the capacitor connections. And that's the input from the volume control. So everything is done. Now let's uh, connect to the speakers and check the sound. All right, so the power supply and the RC is connected now and it's connected to my mobile phone right there so now let's turn this thing on you can see the red light right there on the kit so it's on now and now let's play some songs and check this out So let me tell you that uh, these are like uh, bigger speaker 5 inch uh, subwoofer 60 watt each and also 8 ohms so this is not a good match for this tiny kit but still they are working fine and almost at uh, what to say 70 plus volume uh, they are working good but in a smaller wattage speaker 
20 watt, 30 watt max. Uh, that would work great. You can use a 5 inch woofer too, but uh, 30 watt and 4 ohms. That will work great. But uh, still, this thing, these two subwoofers are working pretty good too. And the sound is much more clear, and bass is also clear. That's an important thing. So that's it. That was the unboxing and testing video of this TPA 3110D2 Class D amplifier chip. And this thing cost me like 80 rupees only from a local store. So for a small project and uh, small desktop speakers, bookshelf speakers, this kit is very good. And you don't need to spend much money on the uh, amplifier speakers. Then I'll just buy this kit and two small. Uh, what is a four in boxes with four inch woofers and you can plan and you can mount this thing inside of the box and you can make them as a powered speakers stereo speakers well well in the next video I'm gonna do that install this thing in a five in a bookshelf speakers with five inch woofer and make them a powered bookshelf speakers so stay tuned for that so in the next video, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.